Hi, so I thought I would film another what I eat in a day today. I feel like I have done quite a few of these recently, but I just enjoy filming them so much at the minute because I'm enjoying being in the kitchen so much at the minute. I am just having so much fun experimenting with new recipes, trying to make my meals as tasty and delicious as possible. So it'd be rude if I didn't share it with you. You know what I mean? I feel like there's just so much pressure especially on social media at the minute to kind of eat perfectly all the time and there seems to be so many rules around food that diet culture is kind of constructed and it can be so confusing and overwhelming at times to think about what you should be eating and I think it's really easy to kind of lose that fun side of food and cooking is something that can be so fun and therapeutic and exciting and I think that sometimes gets clouded by all these rules that have been placed around food people can get hyper fixated on eating perfectly all of the time but it's really important to make ourselves meals and make ourselves food that tastes really good that satisfies us and our bodies and that just makes us happy so that is my aim at the minute to obviously have an overall healthy and nourishing diet but make sure i'm eating foods that taste really fucking good and make me feel satisfied and happy so yeah i just want to share some of my favorite recipes at the minute and for breakfast i have woken up with a severe craving for pancakes so that's what we're gonna have and i'm pretty starving actually so let's go make pancakes so i'm kind of just gonna improvise the recipe i'm gonna adapt a pancake recipe that I do quite a lot but I am gonna change it up a little bit because variety is the spice of life you know <laughs> hopefully they turn out nice so yeah let's go okay so I'm gonna do half a cup of buckwheat flour you can use any plain flour and then I have some of this chocolate protein powder and when I tell you this is so good it has like a caramelly taste to it so I'm gonna put in like a heaped tablespoon of that and half a cup of any plant milk i might need to add more but i'll just do that for now a teaspoon of baking powder a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar this just helps it get a bit more fluffy mix that up definitely needs more milk. so i'll put an extra quarter cup that should do it there we go that's better oh my god it smells like hot chocolate that protein powder is literally so good i forgot the maple syrup what a crime about a tablespoon there we go nice and thick and then i like to use this coconut oil spray when i'm cooking pancakes and sweet stuff because it just adds a little bit of extra sweetness for toppings i'm gonna do this vegan greek yogurt almonds cacao nibs maple syrup obviously and some berries berries and cream berries and cream i'm a little lad that loves but look at this pancake it is a monster he's a big boy i used to fundamentally disagree with the idea of yogurt on pancakes i was a syrup gal through and through but it's actually really delicious and a yogurt syrup combo is where it's at my friends berries again berries with pancakes non-negotiable just delicious some almonds the cow nibs for a bit of crunch a bit more maple yummy ta-da she's gorgeous look how incredible that looks please oh my god i'm so excited to eat this these look silly 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 good oh my goodness ah oh, i've just spilt maple syrup all over the sofa oh no oh my god i'm dripping in maple syrup oh no help why am i such an idiot okay i'll just semi wipe it up for now and then deal with it later because i want to eat oh my god it's going everywhere okay we'll deal with the rest of that later but i am very excited to eat these okay let's go in for the kill mmm they're actually so delicious mmm 
Mm -hmm. It does need more maple syrup though. So I'm gonna have to go down and get some. I just because... spilt that pot all over my sofa. Bear with me. Back. Back with the syrup. So this recipe is a success. I have a sticky arse from sitting in the maple syrup. I'm going to enjoy these, watch something on my laptop, probably some Euphoria cast interviews because that's all I'm watching at the minute. I'm obsessed. You should make these. But when you make them, don't spill sticky maple syrup all over yourself. Last glorious bite. Mmm. You just can't beat pancakes. I'm sorry. Oh, it's pancake day next Tuesday. That's exciting. Every year I have this dilemma. Do I do American style pancakes or crepes? Did American style last year, so maybe crepes this year. Anyway, that was delicious. Definitely worth the sticky leggings and sticky sofa. <laughs> Yum! Hi. So I just wanted to quickly touch upon, wow, I sounded like a teacher there and like you're about to be in trouble or something. I just wanted to talk about this whole that girl trend that is going around on Instagram, TikTok and stuff at the minute and you don't have to be switched on and on it 100% of the time. You don't have to have the perfect diet. There is no such thing as a perfect diet. I think the problem with the that girl thing is that it's kind of a, a set of rules that is supposed to work for everyone but that's just not how we are as humans. Everyone is so completely different functions well under completely different circumstances. You know, we're not meant to be these productive creatures 100% of the time. We all have days where we aren't 100% and that is completely fine. We can't wake up every single morning and have the perfect morning routine, then go on to eat the perfect meals and snacks and then have the perfect evening routine. Yeah, I just wanted to quickly say that because I think the standards on social media are so high, the highest they've ever been, and it can make people feel bad about themselves. And it's important to, to remind people that we're not meant to be perfect. Perfection doesn't exist, it's not a thing, and it's okay to just be ourselves, and, and yeah, I just wanted to say that. I hope that made some kind of sense, because I feel like I just kind of rambled on, but you know what I mean. Hi, so for lunch I'm gonna do a big bowl of scrambled tofu. This is one of my favorite meals ever, ever, ever. It's just delicious every time, so I'm gonna chop up some veggies, have it with some avocado, and it's gonna be delicious. So, let's get cooking, because I'm hungry. Okay, this looks divine. The pickled onions. I am obsessed with pickled onions at the minute. I'm put, there's a doggy here, if you can't see it. Yes, you want my food, don't you? But scrambled tofu isn't for doggies. Um, I'm putting pickled onions on pretty much all of my savoury meals at the minute. I'm obsessed. You gotta get a bit of everything for the first bite. You know, give it the true experience. 
That is so good. It's just so flavorful and delicious. Pickled onion. You must try this if you haven't already. It's so delicious. I actually think this is the best scrambled tofu I've ever made. And I've made a lot of scrambled tofus. I'm telling you, it's the pickled onions. If you want to elevate a savory meal, stick some pickled onions on there. I promise. Take a shot every time I say pickled onions. Please make this. It's so delicious. Yum. Is this a dog or a cushion? You tell me. I personally think it's a cushion. You are so... Oh my god, look at that. She is so cute. <laughs> my heart. You are so bloody gorgeous. Oh my god, you are just so cute. I love you. I love you. Yes. So I am having a vanilla chai herbal tea. It's Pucker, the brand, and it is my favorite tea ever. It's so good. I drink sometimes two of these a day. Ah, that was way too hot. And I'm also having one of these homemade chocolate protein balls. They're hot chocolate flavored and they're so good. The recipe might be on my Instagram by the time I put this video up. It also might not, but it will be going up at some point. They're so, so good. They have like um, hot chocolate powder in them and they're coated in dark chocolate, but a freeze dried raspberry on the top. It's just, it's a delicious type. Mmm, they're so good. It's a joke. Is it gonna focus? Oh, chocolate lip. There we go. So, so good. Yummy. So for dinner, I am just gonna do a kale salad type thing. I don't really know what I'm gonna put in it. I'm just gonna see what's in the fridge. Chop some stuff up and then put it in a bowl. <laughs> I am gonna do it with a tahini dressing though, I think. I am so obsessed with tahini at the minute. I go through phases of being obsessed with certain condiments. At the minute for me, it's tahini and sriracha mayo. Goes on absolutely everything with the pickled onions. So yeah, I'm just gonna improvise a little salad and hopefully it tastes delicious at the end. Okay, so I've just chopped up some cavalonero kale, carrots, cucumbers, tomatoes, and then I'm gonna make the dressing. I added pickled onions because I'm incapable of having a meal without pickled onions. How is it? Nice. Just for a month or two. Yes, mm, that dressing. Peel my hard boiled eggs at my desk. Yum. Delicious. So for dessert, I have made these, basically I have a baking business, like that's what I do as my job. And I have made a new product. They're like a chocolate hazelnut brownie no bake donut and I'm supplying them to a cafe at the end of this week, but I have to try them first, you know, make sure they're tasty. So that is dessert. I'm gonna have one of those. I had a little try of the mix this morning and it tasted delicious. So hopefully the whole thing as a whole is delicious. So let's eat a chocolate hazelnut brownie donut. Yes, please. Look at that. What a 
beauty. Okay, let's give her a go. What's your verdict? Mm, nice. Just nice. Just bloody nice. Delectable. Delicious. Gorgeous. Mmm. They don't know. Mmm. I feel like I've never had that texture before. No, it is like chewy, isn't it? It's like a it's like if you put a brownie in the fridge for ages. Mmm. Feels like you're biting in a fridge, but then it's nothing like that. I've done something there. Wow wow we were. It reminds me of something. What does it remind me of? Look at that. That is divine. Okay, me and Jamie are half in another one because they're so good. Oops. Hi, it's the morning after. I have just woken up moments ago, so I'm feeling a little bit crusty and puffy, I'm not gonna lie. But I completely forgot to sign off the video last night. I actually ended up having three of those donuts. They were so, so good, so delicious and chocolatey and just mm, sublime, if I do say so myself. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I say, it was a very, very good day of food. Remember to always eat foods that excite you and bring you joy and make you happy. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.